welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an incoming second year med student and enjoy making videos about anything related to being a med student and my other hobbies as well. As you can see in the title of the video, I will be showing you what are the essentials for the incoming school year, but with the twist because it is online classes. I will also share a few items that I bought online as of this moment and how I organize my desk for this school year. Some items na bili ko na noon pa and I just wanna share with you what I bought when I started med school. I hope you will stay tuned because I have something to give you. Let's start! So of course, since the classes are online, you have to have your gadgets with you. Whether it may be laptop, tablet, iPad, or your phone. What I use for my online classes is this MacBook Air 13-inch 2017 version. This is its processor. And it only has a 128GB storage. But, hip hip, it was on sale. And then, it comes along with this Toshiba 1TB external drive. And, may babakita ko, this is the speaker. Ito yung LG. So, kasama nito, silang tatlo. Super sulit, ba? What I love about this is that, ang smooth ng lahat ng mga ginagawa ko dito. Mapa-editing, typing, reading, and with my online classes for the first time last semester. To continue this video, you should start deciding and ask yourself when it comes to studying for this school year. Are you in or out? Joke lang! Are you going to use paper or are you going paperless? Since it's online, let's get started with the e-things. Paperless. What I use for studying mainly is this one. This is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. A 2017 version also with a 256 gig. It comes with the Apple Pencil. This is the first generation Apple Pencil. Which is compatible with the version of the iPad that I have. And this is useful for easy highlighting and writing down of notes. And also guys, the common question that incoming med students ask is that... Do you need this? My take is that you need it for online classes. But it doesn't necessarily that you should force your parents to buy this and have it for studying, lalo na that you are still starting. It will take a while for you to adjust using this. But if you still don't feel like going paperless and the pen and paper works for you, that's okay. It will never hinder you from learning. And for the record, I still have stellar classmates that don't need a lot of gadgets on their hand and would still prefer using pen and paper. So... It varies with each student. Next, I also purchased this stand for the phone and the iPad. I found this useful because you can easily adjust the position of your gadget. It's sturdy. Di siya natutumba sa bigat ng iPad. The next gadget that I swear I will never regret purchasing it is, is the Sony headphones. Or any headphones. Um, you can also use earphones, but I prefer headphones because I feel like it will seclude me from the outside noise while I study. This is a Sony model WHCH700N, a pair of wireless headphones with a noise cancelling feature. You can see how I use this to increase my productivity at home. I super love this because it is perfect for long hours of studying. It fits well in my ears. It's really comfortable with its adjustable slide holder. Make sure that it fits well on your ears because I've tried the smaller ones and masakit sa pangmatagalan. Trust, this can charge up quickly and has a Google Assistant Alexa in it. And if ever malobat, it has a wire. One thing I'm careful about is that the headphones just rest on your outer ear. On the other hand, the earphones, the sound is directly inside your ear. So it may be bulky, but it's safer. Grabe ha, ang dami ko na feature ng headphones na to. The video is not sponsored. Sony, baka naman. <laughs> so that's all that I have for paperless. And next is doing with paper. Obviously, you should have a set of band paper. This is a rim. 500 sheets siya. Tip ko lang when choosing a band paper, di ba? Prefer natin makapal. So, have this criteria with any brand. Substance 20 and 70 GSM. You're welcome. I've tried those sobrang makapal and it doesn't go well with my printer. So, speaking of printer, para din di kaya lumabas, para magpa-print, I will share with you my all-time favorite student-friendly on-the-budget printer. This is the Epson L120. This is a continuous type of printer. The nice thing about this is that it is compatible with any types of laptop, given that it is a short bond paper. So, you need to install the software. And it's sobrang convenient gamitin ito and I use this sa na sagad na nung college days. If ever maubusan kayo ng ink, it is compatible with universal ink, which is mura. But, what I have with me is 
Yung ink talaga, it costs me 275 pesos each. If ever pala that you are worried that walang scanner, guys, you don't need it. May madaming apps for it. Next is the file organizer. I use this no nag paper pa ko. So every long exams, one folder, I make sure that I will buy this type of folder with labels on it. Kasi mahirap kung walang label. Mapili ako sa paper quality. So, what I have with me is a notebook with a spring on top. It has no brand. I prefer this kasi makapal and malinis tingnan. And also, since I'm a left-handed, mas easy yung pagsulat ko nito. Next, to organize my files more, the circular rings cost 39 pesos and the binder clips 36 pesos. So, this is an example of how I organize my chances using it. Next is sticky notes. I already said in my previous video about what type of sticky notes that you should buy. This is what I bought recently. So this is an oil painting island design. Then if mahilig kayo sa mga planets, this one's Mercury and the other is a rainbow moon. And this one is a long gradient color of blue, violet, and green. Ang cute no? May maraming design pa yan sila. Next is my all-time favorite sticky memos from Miniso. Pangalawang purchase ko na to. Ang tagal ni naubos. And the best part is it has a dispenser already for the different colors. Right. Last for the paper for organizing your schedule, you should have a planner. I have this weekly planner one because even though I went paperless studying, I still prefer remembering my tasks by writing it. Next up are the ball pens, highlighters, and markers. So this is optional. I have this Stabilo Point APA fine liners and a set of Dong A Hexa Plus fine liner. When it comes to fine liners, I prefer the Dong A kasi mas di siya madaling mag-dry out and the tip doesn't go inside the pen. Maganda yung colors ng Stabilo though, but it tends to push back inside when you're writing. I also have a Miniso aquarel brush for styling your notes so it has a double tip. The first one is a brush and the other one is a fine tip. Next are these Muji like gel pens na mura lang. For 18 pesos each o oh, ba ang mura. <laughs> then I also have these colorful set of whiteboard markers. You will also see this sa online classes sa vid ko. Let's go with the highlighters. I don't use the neon highlighters kasi madumi tingnan. So, I use the Dong A highlighters and the Stabilo pastel highlighters. When it comes to highlighters, kabalik na rin silang dalawa. I prefer the Stabilo highlighters more because it doesn't dry out immediately. It dries smoothly on my notes. So, while the Dong A twin liner, ang fade na niya tingnan, medyo di mo na makikid yung na-highlight mo. And if you have noticed, wala akong yellow highlighters from both brands because I only trust one brand. It is my favorite mango sharp highlighters. I have four of them. This one doesn't smear and block on your notes. It's just subtle and blends with the tip. We're almost there with the last few items. Bear with me, guys. So, let's go with the ball pens that I use. This is the Pilot G-Tech. Ito na yung famous Pilot G-Tech na black and blue. May refill din ako dito. And then, this Pilot Twin Marker. The good thing about this is that it doesn't smudge. I use this when I label tubes no Medtech Intern pa ko. Oh, ito guys! My God! I love this. Super highly recommend you to have this. This is the Acroball Pilot. Clickable siya. Hmm? Lifesaver for practicals. Ito yung ginagamit ko pag may practical sa lab. I have the point .7. And I have the 0.5. Ito yung bagong release nila. Mas expensive to siya. It costs 109 pesos. And this one, 54 pesos. But it is worth it. Promise. Last two items to go. So, this is the clear pen organizer. I have the Blick one. This is 130 pesos. And cylindrical one. So, it's like you're looking to have this as an organizer for your pen. And last but not the least is the card it's only 89 pesos and it fits well within my study area. If you're still here watching and you can still remember that I have something, something to give to you. I appreciate the subscriber because I will have a freebie for ya. <laughs> I have a freebie. This is a free monthly 
and weekly planner made by yours truly. This is a PDF file. I just made a clean design that is perfect for your schedule. All you need is to click the link below with a potato emoji and a hello heart link. Put your name so that I can recognize you. But if you refuse to, okay lang. Just any name that you want, alias or whatever. It's okay. I have no malicious intentions with your name. I just want to recognize you as my subscriber because I appreciate you so much. I hope it will be helpful for you as you start your online classes. Thank you so much for supporting me in this journey and this week will be the start also of my online classes as a second year med student. I will try my best to upload more videos for you guys. Comment down below if you have any suggestions on what videos you'd like me to upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification down below to keep you guys updated on my next video. I'll see you guys soon. Laban mga docs! Stay safe! Bye!